questions. Senator Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Massari, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for testifying before the committee, and thank you for being here in person. Um, as you are aware, I and many members of this committee have had significant concerns uh, about Instagram's practices and, and Facebook's practices and big tech more broadly. In September 2021, the Wall Street Journal published a series of investigative articles titled The Facebook Files. And as you know, the Wall Street Journal reported that researchers inside of Instagram found that 32% of teen girls using the product felt that Instagram made them feel bad about their bodies. The Wall Street Journal further reported that 13% of British users and 6% of American users trace their desire to kill themselves to Instagram. Now, those are deeply troubling conclusions. Are you familiar with the research that was cited by the Wall Street Journal? Senator, yes, but if we're going to have a conversation about the research, I think we need to be clear about what it actually says. It actually showed that one out of three girls who suffer from body image issues find that Instagram makes things worse. And that came from a slide with 23 other statistics where more teens found that Instagram made things better. Now, we have, doesn't mean it's not serious. And on suicide, it was actually, and any one life lost to suicide is an immense tragedy. But on suicide, it was 1% who traced their thoughts back to Instagram. And I think it's important that we're clear about what the research says. So I, I'm glad to see that we found some common ground. Uh, you, you just said twice there, it's important for us to be clear what the research said. I agree. At prior hearings, I've asked your colleagues repeatedly uh, for copies of the research. And to my knowledge, you have refused to produce it. Will you commit now? to produce the research to this committee so we can, as you just said, be clear about what the research says. Senator, I really appreciate this question because it's incredibly important that we're transparent about research. I can commit personally to doing all I can to release the data behind the research. The two challenges that I need to let you know of are one, privacy in certain cases, and two, and often cases we do not have the data anymore due to our data retention policies, but given that, I can also commit to you that we will provide meaningful access to data to third-party researchers outside the company so that they can draw their own conclusions and design their own studies to understand the effects of not only Instagram but Facebook on well-being, and I think other companies should do the same. In what format was this research communicated to you? You just referenced a slide that had bullet points. I would love to see that slide. Uh, you, you criticize this committee for not appreciating the full contents of the research when you haven't given us the research. In what form did this research come to you? Was it a, a PowerPoint presentation? What, how was it memorialized and presented to you? Senator, there are two forms that the research comes in. I believe the most important is the data because that allows any researcher, and I'm committed to making sure external researchers outside the company can do research and have access to that to draw their own conclusions, and then presentations, like PowerPoint slides. In the specific of that slide, we've actually made that slide public, but I believe the most important thing over time is that we provide regular access to meaningful data about social media usage across the entire industry to academics and experts to design their own studies and draw their own conclusions. And that will take time, because many of these studies can often take years, but it's something I am personally very committed to. Now, when you saw your own study finding a significant percentage of girls uh, reported that Instagram caused them to think about killing themselves, were you concerned by, the, by that, that finding? Senator, just to clarify, I believe the study said they traced their thoughts, but yes, I'm concerned about anybody who feels worse about themselves after using the platform, and certainly anyone, any one individual, because we're talking about people here, not numbers, that has any suicidal thoughts. Well, let's talk about numbers for a second. Did Instagram do anything to quantify how many teenage girls have killed themselves because of your product? Senator, we do research and talk to third-party experts about not only suicide, but self-harm on a regular basis, and that research has inspired much of our work to not only make sure that we have very clear policies. So did you quantify it or not? 
Senator, I'm not sure exactly what you would mean by quantifying the situation. Did but you do we research to estimate, to count, how many teenage girls have taken their lives because of your product? Senator, we do research to understand problems and identify solutions. In the case of suicide, to make sure we take down suicide-related content from the platform, to connect those seeking out this type of content with expert-backed resources, and to connect anyone who looks like they're a threat of hurting themselves with local emergency services. How did you change your policies as a result of this research to protect young girls? Senator, I appreciate the question. We use research to not only change our policies, but to change our product on a regular basis. With regards to bullying, the research has inspired things like Restrict, which allow you to protect yourself from someone who's harassing you without them knowing, and limits, because we learned that teens struggle during moments of transition. With suicide and self-injury, we learned that we need to be incredibly careful because often teens suffering from these really difficult issues use Instagram to find support, and we need to make sure that they can find that support and talk about recovery while making so, sure that we so don't... Big tech loves to use grandiloquent phrases about bringing people together. But the simple reality and why so many Americans distrust big tech is you make money the more people are on your product, the more people are engaged in viewing conduct, even if the content that is harmful to them, even if they're viewing every eyeball, you're making money. And when your colleagues have been asked the same question, as a result of this research, what policies did you change? This committee has been unable to get a straight answer to that question about what is different. And I think the reason for that is if you change policies to reduce the eyeballs, you'd make less money. Is, 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 why is that inference not correct? Senator, if people don't feel safe on our platform, if people don't feel good about the time that they spend on our platform, over time they're gonna use other services. Competition has never been fiercer, particularly here in the States with YouTube and TikTok and Snapchat. And so I have to believe that over the long run, it's not only incredibly important that we keep people safe, but we make sure people feel good about the time that they spend on our platform. Okay. So my time has expired, but I want to make sure I understand the commitment you've made to this committee. As I understand it, you have committed to providing this committee with the raw data from the research you did on, on users of your product and in particular body image issues and, and tendencies towards suicide, and, and also with the PowerPoint presentations that memorialize that raw data. Is that correct that you will provide them to this committee? Senator, what I'm committing to you is to do everything I can do to release you can the do underlying that, right? data. Oh, is there a reason you can't do what I just said? Senator, the challenge on the data, which I think is the most important thing, is that in many cases we no longer have it. How about the PowerPoint presentations? Will you give us the PowerPoint presentations? Senator, I think the most responsible thing to do is to provide access to data to external researchers okay. outside we, the company. We'd like both. Is there a reason you're hiding the PowerPoint presentations? Senator, you, you said you wanted maximum transparency. Maximum transparency would be show us the presentations that were prepared for you. Presumably you had some reason to trust them because they were prepared for your consumption. Senator, I believe you already have the presentations, which is why we're focused on the data. We think that any researcher should be able to draw their own conclusions based on the raw data. That is the most important and the most knowledgeable part of the process. Unfortunately, much of that data we no longer have due to data retention policies, which is why I'm very committed to making sure that we can allow access to meaningful engagement data to researchers outside the company in the future to focus specifically on the effects of social media on well-being, and I'm calling for the rest of the industry to do the same. So, so your commitment is to provide all of the data that you have and the PowerPoint presentation summarizing it. Senator, my commitment is to provide meaningful access to data based on what researchers request, because I think that is the most responsible thing for us to do over the long run. Okay, we're requesting right now. S Senator, for, to do a study on the effects of well-being, or sorry, the effects of social media on well-being, you'd have to design that study. So I would like to talk to, I mean, we've worked with Pew, we've worked with Harvard, we've worked with other organizations around the world. I would like to talk to the researchers and understand what specific data they would like access to. I can't just provide all data that we have. That's 
an untenable thing to do physically? The data that was the basis for the study quoted in the Wall Street Journal report. Senator, That's the data I'm asking about. Senator, and and the I would, presentations that summarized the conclusions of that. Senator, I would love to provide that data. I'm personally working on trying to find out if there's any way we can provide it in a privacy safe way and in a way where we still have it. And I think that's, because I think that's important. I've been working on that. I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver here, which is why I'm more focused on how we make sure researchers have access to data going forward. 